Ah, uh, okay, where do I start? Knifing is a playstyle that is quite toxic in the COD community. The one hit aspect of killing enemies stealthily has left a salty taste in the mouth of many. <laughs> Let's be honest, if the aftermath of this pandemic results in World War 3 then chances are you're not going to grab a hammer from the toolbox and run into battle with it. However, many Call of Duty titles have had a knifing system implemented with a balanced, fair play style alongside the other players. It's clear that Black Ops Cold War has seen knifing as nothing more than a pest and included it in the game, but at a cost that, yeah, you can knife, but we're going to make it a living hell for you. I get that former Call of Duties have given knife heavy players the comfort that knifing is easy and no skill, but even veterans can see that Treyarch are forcefully nerfing even the most technically bladed players over no skilled players just because they have an issue with knifers. I'm not saying that every single issue needs to be addressed as knifing would become the new meta, I am however suggesting that at least a few of these issues are changed so knifers at least have a somewhat level playing field in game so that there is an equal balance. I'm Epic but you can call me Dan and here are 10 reasons why knifing is handicapped in Black Ops Cold War. Subscribe. Number 10. No Attachments. When levelling up a gun, players start with a basic weapon as the weapon is used more and more. Attachments are available for unlock such as the sights, barrels, mags and any other modification to improve the weapon in question. This gives the player a chance to further increase the ability of the weapon thus making killing other players a lot easier in the process. When it comes to melee weapons however, attachments are non-existent. I get that adding additional items such as a red dot sight and extended mag are just ridiculous and non-essential, but the addition of just a few attachments for melee weapons could help knifers out by giving them a little step towards being on a similar level to other playstyles. For example, a larger knife that has more of a lunge range in exchange for a slower run speed, or a smaller knife with a faster run speed but in exchange for a lower lunge range, would shake things up a bit and make knifing more fun. Number 9. Weapon Bashing there's nothing more annoying than using a certain playstyle only to find out that people using another playstyle can use your playstyle better than you in their playstyle. Well, Treyarch think it's more than ideal for meleeing with a gun to not only be as powerful as a knife, but faster and more accurate too. The idea that you can run around the map with a melee weapon to get up close to other players that can do that too is kind of depressing and it makes you question why you should bother having a melee weapon at all, again proving that knifing is just an afterthought. Number 8 poor hit detection. Previous Call of Duties have been very generous when it comes to hit detection whilst knifing, where at times, not even connecting on your target with a lunge rewarded you with a kill. Newer Call of Duties have made adjustments to the knifing so that the hit detection is made a bit more difficult and challenging for knifers. This being said, there are times where a melee attempt that is clearly on the enemy goes right through them or misses them completely even though the animation shows the melee weapon going past the player's body. I get that you have to aim at your target as do gun armed players, but a tiny increase in the hit detection is needed as it's abysmal missing a target from point blank range while they're standing still with a melee weapon and a super slow recovery gives the enemy more than enough time to react. Number 7. Map Designs there have been so many map designs in Call of Duty that creating new maps can be difficult for creators as a lot of fans will request old favourites to be brought back as newer maps can't handle the stature of their predecessors. One main issue with newer maps is that there are so many choke points and lines of sight that flanking for knifers is almost impossible as every possible path is exploited and more than easy to see from multiple positions which gives a high disadvantage as gun users have a range and sight to easily shut down a knifer from distance therefore making it almost impossible for a knifer to have a level playing field. Number 6. Nothing the run speed. As a knifer, the objective is you have a limited range in order to acquire kills on opponents in game. One form of perk is that, as a knifer, you are granted a further run pace from players with weapons. Since a recent patch, knifers are now placed at the same pace as other players, which is understandable to a point as it means players do not have the pace to beat their adversaries. Although knifers only have a limited range and are meant to close down enemies, having players running at a similar speed is unfair as the knifers cannot catch up to the target and will either get spotted or taken down by another foe. Number 5. Knifing is obnoxiously loud. One personality trait usually linked to knifers are ninjas. When you hear ninja you think of either two things, a a coloured haired streamer or b a stealth operating person taking down people with next to no sound whatsoever. In this case it's important for knifers to stay silent as any little sound will trigger surrounding enemies and alert them. Forget that, said Treyarch, and proceeded to make all knifing equipment unbearably loud. The noise of someone being hit with a melee weapon is so loud that players within a 20 meter radius can hear it and react. Tomahawks also have their own unique feature, being louder than bullets themselves when travelling through the air. This is unquestionably one of the loudest air travelling sounds, which is not realistic as proven in multiple videos of other people throwing tomahawks, and if a throw hawk misses the target, the player can easily hear the hawk before it whooshes past their ears. Number 4. Slow melee speed. So many times, and you know how crazy the grind was when I say so many times. 
I've been within inches of my sweet succulent blade about to penetrate the flesh of an enemy only for them to turn on 200,000 sensitivity with a shotgun or dual wield magnums and instantly finish me off within a nanosecond. My blade has been mere millimetres from slapping someone only for a split second last freak out reaction to instantly finish me. I get you need to be lenient with some players but if knifers are getting punished for running through an open area with just a melee weapon then other players can get punished for not paying attention and letting their guard down. If the game should be a level playing field the knifer should more than rightfully be able to take the opportunity when said opportunity presents itself as opposed to a safety net being placed on gun users. Number 3. The stuns and flash grenades are ineffective. There's nothing more annoying to a player than being either stunned or flashed and I can understand that players want to be able to have free movement. However, the way in which stuns and flashes work in Cold War are the worst I've ever seen in a Call of Duty game. First of all, stuns will make a player lose control of their gun for not even a second whilst making the screen slightly blurry. But once back in control, sensitivity of a player is unaffected as players can then have the freedom to scout the area for any incoming players with the added use of perfect aim and have more than enough time to get their bearings and eliminate any knifers charging in. Flash grenades will blind opponents for upwards of one second whilst poorly unblinding the enemies so once again they'll have more than enough time to find your location and prepare before you've even sprinted towards them. Bear in mind this is without tactical mask equipped. With tactical mask you might as well throw a paper plane or a water balloon as it'll be more effective and that's not even inaccurate. This would be all fine and dandy if you didn't have to get 50 kills on stunned, flashed or smoked enemies given the enemies are stunned, flashed whilst you're getting the kill giving you that one second window by at which point they've probably already recovered or better yet they've chucked down a trophy system that regenerates each minute and can take up to four projectiles out. Number two, a soldier's cat like agility. It seems that everyone but knifers are secretly house cats and if you get too close you'll scare them so much that they'll gain a magical jump back powers and flee backwards at extortionate speeds. So much so that if Usain Bolt was in the Black Ops Cold War 100 meter race he'd break the record by jumping backwards as we all know by Treyarch's logic it's the fastest way to move if you're a land mammal. I get the competitive players need to be on the move but standard gun users having more manoeuvrability than knifers is sickening and it's highly unfair to the knifer. You may as well just incorporate a golden knife on a string in game and then every time you go to grab the golden knife the knife moves further and further away then won't move until you try to get closer to it again. And number one, the ballistic knives. If there's one solution that puts the knifers on a level playing field with the gun noobs it's ballistic knives. It's unknown why Treyarch keep refusing to add the ballistic knife as a starter weapon since Black Ops 3. Is it because they want to trial the knife in comparison to the guns in the game to alter the ballistic knife to be fair to use alongside Cold War? Or do they want to wait until the game's dying so badly they'll chuck it behind a 2400 COD point paywall as the Gone Ballistic starter pack? Who knows is certainly anyone's guess, but regardless, having those blades back in a Treyarch Call of Duty will certainly help keep the knifers less at a disadvantage and more equal in game. Thank you for watching the video leave a like if you have enjoyed let me know if you'd like to see more of these top 10 lists i do have a lot in mind let me know how you thought this video was done what can i change what can i add what can i take away how are you finding the knifing in call of duty have you ripped your hair out yet i'm getting there thank you for watching this video subscribe if you're new and i'll see you soon stay epic